Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and welcome along to something which you'd have probably expected to see on my channel a long time ago, but I never got around to it. This is my playthrough of Portal 2. Now, let me explain. I decided that I wanted to play this again for a couple of reasons. First of all, Conclan was playing it, um, so I thought, hey, that'd be really good. Secondly, I've only actually played the campaign twice, and when people sort of say to me, um, oh, you know, when such and such happens in the game, or when such and such is referenced, I'm like, generally, I don't know, because um, I just don't remember that much of the game. So, um, yeah, it'd be good to, like, go back and refresh myself and um, try and, you know, re-remember the puzzles. Thirdly, as you can see, I've got a timer on the screen, and I've always been really intrigued at how quickly I can actually play this, especially now that I've got like over 1100 hours of experience in the like the community with Portal 2. So um, yeah, it's going to be kind of like a bit of a, <clears throat> a playthrough, which I'm going to split out into the nine chapters. So there'll be nine parts of this playthrough. So it'll be like a playthrough, almost a bit like do it as quickly as I can speed run kind of thing, but I don't expect it to be that speedy. Um, I'll try and remember to leave links in the description for like the timer. If you want to know about this timer in particular, I'll leave a link to where I got it from and how you can go ahead and set it up. But without further ado, let us jump in to a brand new game of Portal 2. Exciting! I do just need to... Um, this, this the, the timer works on demos. I will say that. And what's nice about it is you can actually pause the game and um, when you complete a level, it like kind of refreshes. So it removes any like pausing and stuff that you do, but it does all its timing on demos. So um, let's do record playthrough. Hopefully that's going to work. It's monitoring. Hey, you have we have begun. For 15 days. In compliance with oh. state and federal regulations, all testing <coughs> Excuse me. So if you are OG, um, you will know that I did actually play through the entire Portal 2 campaign on my Twitch channel. Um, Portal was one of the first games I got on Steam, on my Steam account. I actually bought the Valve pack, which got like, like 14 games or whatnot for 19 quid or something the other way around. 19 games for like 14 quid or something like that. And I think originally it took me... There is a probably on the wall. a good week or two, I think, to get through the game. I, I'm streaming, of course, of course, but um, when you, hear the buzzer, you know, it's gonna be really mad to kind of like actually um, go through this again and um, play it. Because, like I say, I've probably only played it like twice. It is um, really, really weird. So um, I will also say as well, if I die, it kind of messes the timer up. So, if I do die at any point, the split time will be a little bit messed up, but the, the total elapsed time will continue to work. But, without further ado, let's get into Chapter 1, The Courtesy Call. Hello? Anyone in there? Ah! God, God, you look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are you... Oh, yes. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just of course there is. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. And of course, the uh, the picture changes depending right, on uh, from like the previous scene. But, um, yeah, so... You're right down there. Can you hear let's me? see how much of this game we can actually Hello? remember. I... Pretty much sure, like, this opening bit goes on for a good, like, two or three minutes. So, the first two or three minutes of this, um, test do are not going some, to be uh, very interesting. After we can just, uh, listen to Wheatley now, and do his bidding. For quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. A minor case of but serious brain alarmed, damage. Right? I love uh, that. Although, if you do, it's great. If you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does just any jump, of this I think. Make any you just sense? jump, don't you? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yes, you do. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Jump. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. I can't remember if there's like any. I seem to think. I don't know if there is. I kind of thought that there was like some like okay, Easter eggy bit in this, this where you could like look out on one of the other rooms and you could see. Atlas or Peabody somewhere. Still holding on. 
I know you see them like later on in the game when Wheatley's taken over. But I thought I remembered seeing something about it in here as well. Interestingly enough as well, they seem to like block you from crouching in this section of the game. Maybe to stop you from like getting through gaps and stuff, I don't know. But um, yeah, I find that quite interesting. Gotta get through this. Just gotta get through this. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, I, don't think, I don't think you can see them. Like I said, I know there is light later on in the game. I thought there was like a secondary Easter egg where you could see them as like the opening part as well. last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright, not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I really think is such this a is moron. a docking station. <laughs> get ready. Can't you read? It says 500 feet below Wheatley. Jeez. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Good news, but we're just going to continue to... Um, Smash the uh, thingy against the wall oh, here. There. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. I don't Not see the docking holes. station down there. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Alrighty then. In we go. There we go. Good luck. Q Portal 1. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Q Portal 1 currently reference difficulties test chamber beginning potentially apocalyptic oh, I can't throw the radio. beyond our control oh wow however thanks to emergency testing protocols testing can continue these pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even mm -hmm. in the event of environmental social I really should be paying attention to this like uh, public service announcement the portal will open and emergency testing wow he really went like a weird three, pitch there two one let's go Portal 2 has begun. Alright. Yes, like I said, we're not really going to hang around and do too much. And testing remains an important tool for we are just going like, to try and go through this as quickly as we can. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. So it's nice that, I think it's nice that they um, opened up uh, Portal 2. Wow, the announcer's not even talking. Uh, I think it's really nice that they opened up Portal 2 with the same, like, two rooms that they did in Portal 1. It's like a nice little throwback there to the original game. So, um, yeah, I like that. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are I know Conclam was um, in which the like doing different bits and pieces, like analyzing the, the game in his. Head. I know he, he got about halfway through, I think, maybe a bit more. But um, yeah, so this is like teaching us auto portal mechanics. But if I remember rightly, there's not really that many. I don't think there's that many auto portal levels. Sorry, auto portals, mono portal levels in the game. If I remember rightly. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing. Your test environment Can't quite remember. Like I say, I have only played the game the campaign like twice. Twice of that. Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. And so, um, reintegration associate will remind yeah, you for a lot of dialogue. When society has been rebuilt. If I remember rightly, I think there's like a few. Sorry, I'm off. I think there's like a few levels right at the beginning. Where you have the mono portals, I think you only get a mono portal gun straight away. But other than that, I think it's mainly dual portal tests. So this is a portal one chamber here, isn't it? Yeah, I remember that in portal one. I kind of remember this area as well. Oh, I see it. I see it. So I think these, I think these chambers like around here are the portal one chambers that are like destroyed and stuff. 
Rest assured so. that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy. This is like really weird. <laughs> It's just, I just seem like I'm like running through this like so quickly. Having like so much experience with the game, you just like see things so much differently to when I first ever played this game. So to give you a kind of background and get out how I actually got into Portal, obviously I said it earlier on, I picked it up in the Valve pack where you got like, I actually think it was like 24, 24 games and things for like 14, 15 quid or something like that. Um... But I actually started playing Portal 1 first, and then, right. and after I started playing Portal 1, I then started playing Portal 2 because of the co-op aspect. Because my buddy at the time, or he's still my buddy, Rowan, um, was the reason I bought the pack in the first place. So, um... It's like, oh yeah, there's like co-op, let's try out the co-op. And then, once I played the co-op, I kind of fell in love with the, the single player uh, and was determined to finish that. So I actually finished Portal 2 before I finished because Portal 1. But speaking to a lot of people, I think that's how a lot of people seem to have like uh, tackled the games, which is kind of um, weird, really, I suppose. But um, you know, people say that to me about Half-Life as well, because I'm currently playing through Half-Life 1, as some or, or most of you will know. And... Um, I am going to play Half-Life 2, but a lot of people say, oh, you know what, you could just jump on to, just jump on to Half-Life 2, because they're not really connected, but uh, I would like to finish Half-Life 1. I don't want to start two different, um, I would rather not um, start two different playthroughs. Alright, so we've got that there. Gives a cube. It does. Thank you. And we have stairs. So, okay, there's Dropper. There we go. So yeah, it's pretty pretty basic stuff. Again, as with like the first game, well pretty done. basic. Nothing too difficult. Remind you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science. It's quite annoying that like the voice line's so gone for so long in between like these these US segments. 1 .1 volts. They're kind of like hanging around and it just takes so long, like ages to like, you just seem like you're spending all your time on the elevator. It's quite interesting though as well I find that, um, you know, we're kind of like going further deeper into Aperture rather than this trying to like head to the, the surface, but to I guess we're in like, like emergency it testing, right? No longer apply in the future. So, to help you. okay, what we've got here? Down here I guess. Let's just go through the monopole, that's right. And then we do that. And then we do the same thing again, I believe. Well, at least we would have done if I hadn't done that first fail. All right. We're trying to rush too much. Let me take my time a little bit more. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. Uh, and the future okay. starts with you. Let's go over here then, I guess, first. Coming back and playing this though, it's just, it seems like it's, the game feels so simple. Which is not the impression I got the first time of playing it, I guarantee. Not the first impression I got. But then I suppose because, you know, you play so many co community chamber maps, you know, you're faced with so many, like, Good different work, challenges man, and stuff. But the, the actual campaign level stuff is pretty much like, you know, front page fodder kind of maps. So it is pretty simplistic, but um, yeah. Doing pretty well so far. We are 11 minutes in. I think the cold boot starts when we um, when we uh, actually come across GLaDOS, right? I'm pretty sure it does. All safety devices have been so, disabled. Interesting as well, you can seem like you can like... questions or concerns about this policy. It seems like you can come out of the um, elevators before, um, like the vertical bit swaps up, which is kind of weird. Anyway, people with brain damage are the real heroes. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so. We're not really out of options. I'm sure I, you know, I, I managed in Portal 1 without you, Wheatley. I'm sure I can manage again. Hey ho. Alright, I'm ready to catch. Let's go. 
two, three. That's high. It's it's too high. Really <laughs> All right, going we'll on see. three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me! Catch me! Catch me! Catch me! Ow! Oh well, come on! <laughs> I'm not dead. It's I'm impossible dead. to catch him, obviously. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed stick by Stick on the wall? Oh, there. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not okay. joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Sure. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Got open while your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Well, the technically is a rail, because oh, it's like a catwalk, okay. right? Hang so, on, it's like a rail for me. Um, it's quite ironic. You know, you're controlled by a rail, but now I'm oh, controlled no. by the catwalk. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, I'm moving, really. Don't you worry. I am moving. We ain't not hanging about. It's so, yeah, kind of weird, like, you know, it's ironic in a way that... Um, Wheatley's moaning about being on a management rail, but then right now. In order to escape, we're, we're going to have to go anyway. through her and chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she hey, is. Hey, Glados. What a nasty piece of work she was. So different. Like a proper maniac. Does it even look like it's like the same area that you could use in, um, like you come into in Portal 1? I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Ah! Very presumptuous that it's oh, a heat weekly. Still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. <laughs> this is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just well, Yeah, I'd love to find the escape pod if everything was labelled so weirdly, but it clearly it's not. Pod. Look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't nope. see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. Quoting God. Quoting God. Oh, <laughs> Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. But the way as it, like, goes up, it's just like uh -oh. turning all the breakers on. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Good job, Wheelie. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Good job. Um, Oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. Do you want me to turn around again while you hack it? Oh, wow. Where did that wall come from? That wasn't there a minute ago. Um, just literally appeared out of thin air. Weird. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do big jar of pens? Start writing these down. Power up. Complete. I don't... Okay, okay. Okay, listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. You've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh. It's, it's you. you. You know I remember that voice line. Long time. <laughs> How have you been? I've been good, I've thanks. Been How are you? Really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Well, Rip Porgum. I think that's like the end of the monopole section. So. Excuse <coughs> me. <clears throat> Obviously, in the original portal, there was a lot more monoportal tests and bits and pieces Being going monster. on. But not in this one. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. Oh, I love it, Gladys. I love, I love it, it, too. it. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. And what might that be? I see laser redirection cubes. I think we're coming to the end of the first chapter. I believe. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. 
The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. Woohoo! Testing! Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once All testing right. starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, that's one of the changes from Portal One. Definitely, I remember that one of the last ones. So yeah, that must be the um, that must be like the incinerator room where you go down, where so many people in Portal One thought like that was like the end of the game, and they accepted, as LB Ovs often said, they just accepted the fact that um, the end of the game is that you die. So um, yeah. We've got a lot to do. And I do love that, like, this whole introduction chapter, like I've said before, just is like a throwback to Portal 1. It's, um, it's great. But I really do like what they've done. And then I think when you get to this new area, like, they start introducing the new elements and different bits and pieces, so... Cool job, Valve. You did something right and did something well. After that, who knows? I might like, you know, judging or anything. All right, you want to shut up now, Gladys? Maybe? Maybe. All right. So, according to my timer, that is the end of chapter one. So, we will call it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching chapter one. Please come back and watch chapter two of my playthrough of Portal 2 um, on the channel here. If you've got any interested to see your comments and different bits and pieces, um, let me know anything you'd like Interesting to see your comments, guys. I know a lot of you guys have played Portal 2 a lot more than I have. So, yeah, but like I said, this is just going to be like a, a pure sort of like power through the game um, playthrough. And I may do similar to with Portal 1 afterwards. But, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. And until episode 2, happy gaming.